Hello guys, Alex here. So today I would like to talk about a rather sensitive topic. What do Uyghurs think of Han Chinese? Well, it's really hard to tell, you know, because first of all, I'm not a Uyghur myself, and it's quite tricky to, to invite Uyghur people to publicly talk about this sensitive topic. And even if they did, I don't think they would be totally frank with us. Due to the fear of saying something inappropriate, which can be used by some media to serve as propaganda, so instead, I decided to talk about it based on two answers that I have read on Quora and、uh, my also my personal experience as a Han Chinese who grew up in Xinjiang. First of all, let's look at the first post related to our today's topic. It's an answer to the question: Why do a fraction of Chinese Uyghur dislike the Han Chinese? Written by someone who'd like to remain anonymous, he mentioned in the post that he is ethnic Uyghur, and he is then white. Before answering why, we should ask if: Is there any Uyghur person who dislike Han Chinese? Of course, yes. I have personal contact with many of them. With different degree of dislike, I didn't want to use hatred. It's too strong for most cases. How large this fraction is, I believe it is pretty small. Majority of Uyghurs are farmers living in, living in oases around the Taklamakan Desert. There are not many Han Chinese out there, as most of the Han population of Xinjiang reside in cities. And northern or eastern Xinjiang, therefore, they don't have any strong opinion of Han Chinese people. They might have some disagreement with the government, but it's a different story. So it leaves us with only those Uyghurs who live in cities, who contact with Han Chinese people. Hatred do exist in this case. If you care enough to read this, you must know many unfortunate incidents have been occurring in Xinjiang. Lots of people have been directly affected by them, and they are very likely have emotional strong opinions as a result. How would you feel if your loved ones are taken away in riots, or put into prison for random reasons, or made disappeared for just running a website or being webmaster, for warning the government for possible violence, etc.? Those tragedies happened to both Uyghurs. And Han living there, so keep it real. They are Uyghur and Han Chinese hate the other group, or even willing to hurt someone because of hatred. So in this paragraph, I suppose he mainly talks about the terrorist incident happened in Xinjiang since 2009 Rumqi riot, and the action taken by the Xinjiang authority in order to bring the situation under control. The July 5th incident. Has strengthened international terrorist support in Xinjiang. It also marked an expansion of the type of attacks, and not only in Xinjiang. This security video shows how machete welding terrorists from Xinjiang attacked commuters in southwest China's Yunnan province at the Kunming railway station in March 2014. They killed 31 people and wounded over 140. 舆论挨着看，挨着的看，看就出来，走上去看，跑到地下，跑到那个储藏口的地下那个包房，然后跑转来，那就这么出来，到时候拿的时候，还是。买了汉子，我是买了鹅，我是二二幺，我是七七，我是他们的二弟给办的。俺家不干啥，管得别什么，像干什么什么，干，干些什么什么，好了买么子不？俺家，你上干了别的吃干，第二次好了买么子。He then start to talk about the racism against. Uyghurs in China proper, and I need to say that it do exist in some cases, but I'd rather make another whole video about it in the future. So let's jump into the next paragraph, and then we have nationalistic political dudes who think Han Chinese rule in Xinjiang is illegitimate. They are colonizing. They are colonizing Xinjiang, robbing us. Of our resources, they are not keeping the promise of autonomy. Uyghurs are become Uyghurs became second-class citizens. 
organizing mass Im immigration to Xinjiang, trying to greatly alter demographics of the region, religious oppressions, etc. I try to stay away from political arguments, so no more comments on this part. Well, I actually know some Uyghurs who had the same mindset, like the nationalist he mentioned in his answer back in high school. Um, one of my classmates, who is also a Uyghur, once complained with me about the huge immigration of Han Chinese from China proper, were taking over um, limited soil resources and other natural resources, which only belonged to natives like him. And he felt like Han Chinese were colonizing Xinjiang. Well, let's get back to the quarrel answer. The author conclude his answer. There are some probable reasons, but most importantly, keep in, keep in mind that it's actually honestly really a fraction of Uyghurs who do dislike Han Chinese as a whole. I believe it is true for the other way around. The current situation is bad enough already. We don't need to spread hatred, prejudice, and random speculations. Be nice to the next. Xinjiang people you met, you meet, you might very likely end up with a whole new per perspective on us. Well, I must say this is a quiet, neutral, and honest answer from a uh, ethnic Uyghur, and the author is someone I definitely want to talk with. Now let's jump into the next quarrel answer I would like to share with you guys in this video. It's an answer to the question of what do the Uyghurs think of Han Chinese. Just like our today's topic of video, some Uyghurs don't think of Han Chinese at all, since they have no contact with Chinese everyday basis. Just like the last author mentioned in his answer too, most Uyghurs dislike Chinese not because of any political reasons, but because Chinese don't care about what they are doing in other people's land, and tend to think everything belongs to Chinese, and Chinese are helping everybody also. Third point, some hate Chinese because they had in situation discriminated by Chinese, even in smallest matters. Yeah, discrimination.、Uh, I will talk about it in my future videos. He then writes some anti-Chinese for the political reason. Read of last 100 years of history until today. What an Uyghur would say,、uh, Chinese warlords, oppressed Uyghurs. Kill Uyghurs in thousand, communists make false promise and、uh, arrest thousand every ten years, starting a slogan which is nothing but actually serve to diminish locals, including Uyghurs on their own land, taking every chances to labor to labor Uyghurs as criminal while posing themselves someone who is helping locals, labeling Uyghurs as terrorists while not reporting the terrorism. Public calls to humiliate Uyghurs, mass crackdown, arresting thousands, jailing thousands. Have you noticed the number he mentioned? Arresting thousands, jailing thousands, not million. Keep that in mind. Let's keep reading. Very few. I mean, really, really, very few are pro-Chinese. He mean pro-China, I guess.、Uh, these are the ones. Lost cultural, religious, and traditional links between themselves and the previous generation of Uyghur society. Such Uyghurs are very rare. If you see an Uyghur boy drinking with a table of Chinese at the bar, you may take him as pro-China. No, you are wrong. Ninety percent of times, I grew up among Uyghurs who simply wish to farm their land and pray for end love for life, and don't think of anything else. I grew up among the people who read a lot and listen to news every day in the hope that the whole world change again. So this week we'll have their right back. I've been among those who simply want money, power, and fame by showing loyalty to the state, but not yet ready to give up their Uyghur language, Islamic religion, religion, and still want to have a future for Uyghurs without Chinese. I've been among those who are angry and did not see anything sensible of what Chinese are doing. So they believe Chinese are yajuj and majuj, people who rise at the final day and destroy everything on earth, 
and prepare to and prepare to attack Mecca. Then Prophet Isa come from heaven to lead the battle against them according to Islamic stories. So wait for right moment to strike back. I had to listen to those who witnessed the last half century and now regret it for not fight to death when they were young. He then started to talk about um, his experience with um, interacting with Han Chinese. I've been with Chinese who are first curious at you and then change their town by stating that the state is being too good on Uyghurs, for example, for letting Uyghurs to have two to three babies. I've been with Chinese who are nice people and know how to get respect by respecting others properly. Now let's jump to the end of this answer. Personally, if a Chinese is passing by on the street, I don't think of anything. If a Chinese spit near to me when I was eating lunch, I dislike him. If a Chinese show any sign of disrespect to me, I hate him. Now you got the answer. Basically, you receive what you deserve. Well, as you can tell, this author is more rightward、uh, in comparison with the first one. But I regard it as a fair answer too. I believe both of the author fully expressed how they think about the relationship between Uyghurs and Han Chinese. Lastly, I would like to further explain why I chose these two Quran answers. Not only because they are more neutral. Or we can see a little bit more negative towards Han Chinese, but also they were posted before 2018, when、um, Western mainstream media haven't started to promote human rights issues in Xinjiang. After they began this propaganda war, we need to be more skeptical towards what we read online, right? Anyway. That's the end of this video. If you'd like to read the full Quran answer that I shared in this video,、uh, I will put the link in the description, and you can you can check it out later. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.